is Ina with Indichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making ice cream, salted caramel ice cream. It's so delicious, so yummy. But this recipe, it's not about just ice cream, it's about the texture and flavor and also simplicity. This recipe is the simplest, the easiest ice cream you have ever seen for salted caramel, I promise. And for this simple recipe we need only three ingredients, three, super easy. Heavy cream, nice and cold. It's very important to keep cold from the fridge. Salt, and I like to use Celtic. It's very nice, coarse. Um, use any salt, use uh, pink salt, but kind of coarse. Do not use table salt. It's too salty and actually not good for you. It has a, a lot of additives. Don't use that salt. <laughs> and the third ingredient, it's sweetening condensed milk. Every store you can find, easiest. Now in this days you can even find made from goat milk, whichever you prefer. So we need condensed milk. But not only condensed milk, <laughs> this condensed milk needs to turn to what called dolce de leche, which is basically um, caramel. So we're not going to make caramel, we're not going to cook on stove, in, incorporate, no. That will be super easy and simple. And to cook caramel, what, what I usually do for dolce dolce, I just stick in a crock pot and cook overnight. You just fill with water all the way and on low for 8-10 hours, usually overnight, and then cool down and ready to use. And actually in this tin can you can keep in fridge or room temperature for whatever as much as as long as you need for whatever reason or recipes we like to dip with green apples as my kids after school snack if they behave well of course <laughs> they get the, those kind of snacks it's delicious we love it simple one ingredient sugar uh, two ingredients sugar and milk very very easy you don't need to buy even caramel dip if you need for whatever recipe but today we're using for caramel salted caramel ice cream and I will show you how easy and how different uh, transforming from condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk before and after cooking. So this is regular condensed milk and as you see it's white and if you take from Look how nice and brown. You see the difference? <laughs> Look how beautiful and brown, right? And deep flavor. Very thick. <laughs> Almost you want to eat with a spoon, right? <laughs> I'm sure you want. My boys love it. And I do sometimes. <laughs> Cream, cold, and Celtic salt. Let's begin. And let's whisk the cream, just like regular you do with cream. As you see, it starts getting thicker. That's time to add our caramel. And I like to do a few spoons at the time. To add some more and salt. I like this coarse salt. Look at this color turn into beautiful caramel. Sometimes can stuck on bottom, so make sure it's all evenly. And that, that's exactly consistency you want. You don't want over whipped. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key for good ice cream. And I'm, I don't have any ice cream maker. I will just stick in freezer like previous videos if you saw my whiskey chocolate ice cream it's so so good with chocolate chips oh my goodness it's so good i will link below that recipe you have to check black black raspberry ice cream classic vanilla 
which is slightly more complicated with egg yolks and um, more traditional way to make uh, custard based ice cream. This is more simple, simplicity, but still delicious. And now we'll stick in the uh, ice cream container, special made for that. <laughs> also, I like to use individual cups and stick in fridge for a few hours until it gets nice and soft. Now the hardest part to wait until it's freeze. Depends on your freezer, it can take anywhere between five and six hours. Welcome back and a few hours later, our ice cream is nice and solid. And I cannot wait to try <laughs> and little ones as well. It's nice, has beautiful caramel color. And what I like to do on additional to make even more sweet and pretty and <laughs> more delicious to drizzle with some Moses Dolce de Leche. It's um, caramel basically and we will warm up to make nice and um, drizzable <laughs> so we can drizzle. I will warm up 30 seconds um, in microwave and then um, whisk and 30 seconds again and we'll see. It's get much softer, but not not quiet, as you see. It's better, but not not yet. So another thirty seconds. Oh, it's much better. It's much softer and smells just like caramel. It's getting nice and smooth. I think another thirty seconds, and we are good to go. Oh yes. Oh yes. I think it's nice. Very beautiful caramel. Oh yes, time to taste. And as much as I like it as it is, I also make some cones, ice cream cones. And my next video, I will show you how to make them super easy. You will not believe how easy to make. And I think after you try once, you will never go back to storeboard. Add a little bit more salt on top. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's salted caramel ice cream. Look at this, how attractive look at ice cream. And no time to make. Super easy, you don't even need ice cream maker. If you have, great, <laughs> but it's not necessary. You don't need many specific ingredients. It's something that you have on hand and cost a few dollars and you have beautiful ice cream and plenty. I actually make several and kids already ate few of those individual cups and I will link below those cups is life savings. It's so easy you don't have to wash, they eat and <laughs> ready to go. So that's easy. And if you this ice cream is not very sweet. So if you like more add more condensed milk uh, don't you delete it. But I add only one can because I like on end to drizzle a little bit more is this delicious look at this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video as I did. And my ice cream, let me taste it. Super smooth, super creamy. And a tiny bit of salt makes it huge difference. Who doesn't like caramel salt? It's good. If you like in corn, check out my next video. And see you next time. And don't forget to check my in the description below for full recipe, related recipes, and subscribe. Send to your friends, for your family, and make ice cream. Bye!